Hi everybody, this is Becca from Becca Town Sims. And today I wanted to show you my speed build for my newest house, which is called Mid-Century Multicolor. So I started out with the um, frame for a bungalow style. So it's got a front porch, it has pretty like low, a low roof line. Um, and it really is seen often in the craftsman style. So I started, the first item that I knew I wanted to use here were the, the pillars that you see on the porch that come with Get Famous because they are perfect for a craftsman style house. They have that sort of like heavy, thick rectangle on the bottom and then taper off as they reach up. So I picked the ones in blue because I just thought it was a really pretty color blue. And then I started experimenting with how I could incorporate that blue into the house. Um, so with a craftsman style, you will often see mixed materials. So a mix of woodwork and stone. So I played around, as you saw first, with a couple of different sidings. Uh, I really like this pale blue clapboard that comes with the base game, but I thought that it was just too much to do for the whole house, that the house needed a little bit more weight on the bottom. So I ended up putting in that gray brick. Uh, and I think that it works really nicely. And then the next thing that I did was I tried to find my door. And once I found the blue door that you see there that has that really mid-century sort of look, I was starting to get the idea of this house, like this house's story. So in my mind, this house is sort of a late craftsman. Um, and then it was probably renovated a little bit in the mid-century style. Um, the family who lives there now, they're really bright, they're really loud, and they try to incorporate a lot of the mid-century look uh, with like their fun, colorful lifestyle. So you're gonna see a lot of colors as I build this house. What I did in the kitchen was I started off wanting it orange, but then I stumbled upon that bright yellow um, wall, and I thought that it was such a fun color, and that I really wanted this like bright kitchen. So I put in the yellow, and then I was like, okay, that's really bright. So I needed something more neutral to offset it. So I decided to keep the kitchen accessories and the cabinets all like a really clean white. Um, and that actually, it might not be mid-century because they were into maybe a cleaner look, but I think that it could fit into the end of the mid-century, maybe the early 60s, like a little bit of like um, an early 60s, like retro look with the yellow. Uh, for the living room, I went with this, I just love this color. I don't know quite what to call it. It's something, it's like a little bit orange, a little bit salmon maybe. Um, I love the color and so I went with that for the living room because I thought that it played really well with the the bright blue of the windows. So then I chose the blue couches to bring out the, the blue of the windows too. And then the yellow dining chairs to kind of go along with my yellow kitchen because even though this is going to be like a really bright and crazy house, I think that there should be some cohesive elements to tie it together. So that's what I tried to do just by repeating some of the same like color pairings and trying to transition them into other areas of the house. Um, I love a lot of the furniture that comes with Get Famous. So I think the counters are get from Get Famous, the side tables there, the lamps are from Get Famous, those two paintings are as well. Um, there's a lot of really good furniture that comes with that pack that's great for this kind of like mid-century, maybe mid-century modern look that I was going for with this house. Oh, the dining table's from, from that pack too. Um, so I use that and then the TV table I think is from the bowling expansion and what else? That might be the only bowling expansion item that I use, but I thought that it, it worked really well. Um, and then I think the rug is from Strangerville because they've got like some, some groovy retro patterns with the Strangerville pack too. So I started uh, working here on this like decorative table which gave me a lot of trouble because I resized one of the side tables and it was like in between sizes. So as a lot of you know, I'm sure one of the ways that you can move items in the game is by turning on move objects and then you can raise and lower things with 9 and 0. 
and when I was trying to put things on that little side table, it was right between two of the levels. So they might dip just a little bit into the table, but I was fine with it because I am not a perfectionist. Um, so yeah, now I'm looking at the bedrooms. I toned it down for the bedrooms, like tried to keep the palettes a little bit more sober, I guess, more somber. So I went with um, that kind of like darker green, which again, I think is not really, it's not like 50s mid-century, it's maybe early 60s, that color palette, like the avocado. Um, so anyways, then I came back to decorate the kitchen. I love the idea of having these crazy decorative plates up here because they're really bright and fun. Uh, tried to play something more complicated up there, it just didn't quite look right to me. So I just went with some jars. I've I um, played around with that little set of books too, but they would not cooperate with me, so I abandoned them. <laughs> You'll see that I also changed the floor in here. I put it white, it was wood originally, but then I changed it to white because I wanted to keep it bright since I was going with such a heavy yellow. The accessories that I'm adding in now, I think really give it that sort of like groovy retro feel with the flowers, which I think were so in in the 60s. And I put, um, those are not curtains that I put on the windows. I put this decorative, I, I don't remember what it's called. It's like a little banner that came with seasons, I think. I used those to kind of look like valences in the kitchen. I think it was fun. The bathroom gave me a headache because bathrooms always give me a headache. I started off thinking that I wanted it to be blue because I didn't have any blue rooms. Uh, but when I was playing around with the blue tiles, like it didn't really look right to me. Like it didn't look... Uh, retro or mid-century in the right way so I ended up going with this pink tile from I think it's from the it might be from the family pack or if it's not that it might be kitchen stuff I don't know um, so I put the pink in there and I thought that that worked really well it kind of gives it this like outdated like not updated not modern look with the pink um, with the upstairs bedroom, I also went with a more muted palette. This one I think is a little bit more uh, brown rather than green, but I wanted there to be something to kind of tie the bedrooms together. Um, just to make them seem like linked in a way, so they both have these sort of like darker, uh, more restrained color palettes because I thought that maybe, you know, people would want to be relaxed in the bedroom instead of really up and hyper like they might be in that bright yellow kitchen or the orange living area. This upstairs half bath at first, so this looks exactly the way it was just a minute ago, it looks like this half bath that is in my grandma's house that I think is just so ugly. And it definitely has not been updated since like the 60s or the 70s. Uh, but it was too ugly even for me, so I ended up changing the tile and, and dialing it down a little bit. Um, this bedroom I pictured for, you know, like a kid, like a nice, happy child. Um, pretty gender neutral, I think. Maybe slightly more of a boy's room, but it could go either way. I tried adding in these orange curtains for a little bit of pop, but then I like more of the monochromatic look, which I think kind of goes more with that like early 60s, mid-century look anyways I don't think there's a lot of like contrasting colors like they picked a color palette and stuck with it so I think that works so here's my landscaping I wanted to keep it simple like this is a tiny house um, it's on a really small lot so just a little bit of garden out front those like low-lying uh, shrubs in the front those are great if you just want to like add a nice little border to your garden I use them all the time and so, yeah, that's the house. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, let me know.